What's up guys, so welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new, it's the girl Nishi and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you're drinking your water, minding your business and nourishing your mind, body and spirit. <music> So as you guys could see from the title of the video, we have a Shein haul. You guys know I did one not too long into the new year. It was gifted by my mom. It was mostly like active wear exercise clothes. But this time I'm doing my own Shein haul. I went on Shein and I purchased a few things for an upcoming trip. You guys will be hearing more about that very soon. Um, but I picked up just a few items. So let's just dive right in because we have a lot of stuff to get through. <laughs> So y'all, I purchased maybe like about 22, 23 items. So I'll put everything. Of course, this is going to be a try and haul. So you guys will get to see how the clothes and everything looks on me. I didn't only buy clothes. I bought shoes and I bought accessories as well. So you will see everything. I will link everything also down in the description box in the order that I show them. Um, and I also have my measurements down below so you guys kind of use me as a reference point if you are my size or if you're close to my size you could kind of gauge based on how the clothes fit me what size you should get if you like any of the items I picked out. So without further ado let's jump straight into the video. Now y'all only after I purchased these pants did I realize that everybody and their mother has it. <laughs> but I understand why like they are so cute and they are very stretchy in the waist. I ended up, now guys, disclaimer, fair warning, definitely look at the reviews. Don't just go wildly on Shein and be like, I'm a size medium, I'm a size large. No, you will end up screwing yourself over. So definitely look at the reviews. The reviews said that this one was, also look at the reviews and also look at the product description because it gives you a fair idea as to the material, the stretch, if it fits oversized, average, or like smaller. So definitely look at the product description and the reviews and it'll give you a fair idea of what size you should get. I ended up sizing down just because as you guys can see, this is a little bit of a bigger pants and it still fits me a little bit baggy in the crotch area, but it's supposed to fit oversized. I think that's the point of the pants, but I ended up sizing down to get a small because I wanted a little bit of a tighter fit and it still fits with tons of room in the band. It has a nice thick band. Now y'all, this material is very, it's thin. It feels cheapish, but you get what you pay for. Let me just grab my phone so I could kind of go through one time and tell you guys the prices of things. Or maybe I'll put it on the screen. I don't know. <laughs> right. So this was $5. So, I mean, what would you expect for $5, right? It fits really well. It feels really nice. And, I mean, it doesn't fit really well. I wish it wasn't as baggy in the crotch area. And I'm not sure if I could do anything to rectify that. But, like I said, I think it's supposed to be a little bit of an oversized, kind of breezy, casual look. Um, but if it's really well, the material is kind of thin, but you get what you pay for. It's not see-through though, so you don't have to worry about people seeing your underwear. Just wear like dark colored or whatever nude is for your skin complexion. Do that and you'll be fine. So the next item that I got... Oh, and while I'm talking about the item, I will of course put the try-on section right somewhere here so you guys could see what the item looks like all that good jazz so the next item that i got is this pink uh what do you call it they call it the plunging wrap the plunging neck wrap cross tie crop top and it is when i tell you all it is cropped it is cropped and you will see it fits literally right under the boob i realized that it fits me way better without a bra so i will likely not wear a bra with this but i feel like i do need like boob tape or something because um, the girls need a little bit more support but this is a really really nice material it feels really soft um, don't have any issues with it you could actually no I wouldn't recommend your size down get your size because it may not have enough fabric to cover the girls especially if you are larger chested than I am I am a 36 34c sorry so if you have bigger boobs than I do and you are like my frame, I don't know if you would want to chance it. <laughs> Maybe get a bigger size, but because it is like it comes with a long string, you could kind of adjust it and do a bigger size and then just tighten it a little bit more. 
Now to go with the pants I showed you guys just now, I had two tops in mind. The pink one I just showed you guys and then this white one. I will of course show you it on. I'm not sure if me holding it up you will be able to get a true appreciation of the top and it is seeming to be right. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, this is a white off the shoulder top and it also comes with a tie and it has this little crisscross detail in front. I don't know if you guys could see that, but you will see it in the try-ons portion and it has a really, really long tie so you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, the front is double lined so you'd have to worry about seeing through the front. The back is just one single thing, but once you have on a bra, you should be fine and it covers your bra completely so you don't have to worry about anything falling out. <laughs> this top, let me see the price of this. This top was $12 and I actually like it. It's really, really good quality um, and it looks really cute on. So. I have no issues with this. Now I got me this gray bodysuit. Um, it's kind of just a basic bodysuit. I don't really know what else to say about it really. It was seven dollars. Um, and yeah, it's just a basic gray bodysuit. It just has a little scoop neck there. It can be a little bit cleavage-ish, <laughs> but once you have any proper bra, um, you should be fine. So yeah, pretty basic. And as you guys are seeing in the try on portion, I paired the gray bodysuit with this black cargo pants. And y'all, the only thing I wish about this is that it was high-waisted. Um, it doesn't go high-waisted on me, um, but I do love it. It is, I haven't had a black pair of pants in a long time and I'm trying to kind of step out of my comfort zone of only buying jeans. So to buy this cargo pants was kind of out of my comfort zone. Um, how much was this boy? This was $10. So definitely not a bad purchase. It comes with two buttons in front here. Um, two cargo pockets on the side and two pockets up in front um and it is a cropped it is a cropped uh, cargo pants as you guys will see in the try and portion as well it fit really good i thought it would have been too small for me because it didn't have my actual size so i had to size down unfortunately but actually fit really good because there is a little bit of stretch in the leg and a lot of stretch in the waist so yeah i just wish it was high-waisted just because i prefer high-waisted pants as opposed to it just sitting at my natural waist um just because it flatters me better but neither here nor there it fit really well it's amazing quality for something that's ten dollars amazing quality it's probably one of the best items i think i picked up and it will look really good just for casual pants is a true on you know so yeah i think this is the last top well the last casual top that i got and y'all <laughs> the first thing that drew me to this were the colors can you can we get into the colors on this it looks really really good um and i tried it on of course i didn't want to put all my boobies and everything out there on the internet <laughs> so i did put on a bandeau top inside but what i would want to do is to cut hair and um take it up a little bit because it was a little bit long for me um and i kind of want the girls to be a little bit more supported especially since i do plan to wear it without a bra um i just didn't show you guys that because i didn't feel like having all my goods out on youtube but the material feels really good it's kind of like a rib material very very stretchy so you could kind of tie it however you want comes with a really really long string so you could literally just go to town with this and it's just very casual i think i showed you guys me pairing it with a uh, white high-waisted short pants and i think that's definitely how i would wear it as well now y'all <laughs> i only bought the uh what do you call this I only bought the top for this bat suit because I already have a white swimsuit bottom and I'm like white swimsuit bottoms you could just interchange it right so I just bought the top separately it comes as a set and I think the set wasn't even it didn't have the pattern that this one has on it kind of seashell pattern it was just a plain white um 
bikini bottom and I was like, eh, I could do it without spending that extra money. So I just got the top and because you could buy separately, I always find that oftentimes, especially those that are more rigid, the cups tend to run a little smaller in size. So if you are getting yourself like a rigid cup or something with an underwire, definitely size up if you can. And even with me telling you that, I did get a large, because usually I'll get medium, but I got a large because it is just supposed to be like a bandeau top that you tie to the back. And I got large because I thought to myself, the cup will be bigger, and because it ties in the back, I'll be able to tie it as tight as I want and get that extra support. It wasn't as supportive as I had originally hoped. Maybe I needed an extra large, who knows? <laughs> but it just wasn't giving what I needed it to give but I plan to wear it I plan to style it a particular way so I'm hoping that it won't matter in the long run anyways so we'll see you guys will see if you follow me on Instagram which you should I'll put my handle right here but if you follow me on Instagram you guys will see the pictures from my upcoming trip anyways so you will see how I end up styling this so now I think we're getting into dresses and y'all <laughs> When I tell you, I think this is one of my favorite items in this entire haul, y'all. Now, I expected this dress to be like that kind of ribbed material, but it's not. It's almost like a cross between satin and cotton or polyester and spandex. Like, it feels like a whole lot going on, but it's not ribbed material. It is very, not very stretchy. It has a little bit of stretch in it. So I would definitely say get your size. Or if you want it really, really form fitting, you could maybe size down if you're in between sizes. But for the most part, I would say get your size. And it is a long midi dress, as you guys will be seeing on the side there. And it fit really well. As you guys might be able to tell very soon that I am obsessed with ruching right now. It just helps to hide any <laughs> belly fupa that you have going on um it tends to hide that and just be a whole lot more flattering and this orange on my skin is amazing <laughs> so i am in love with this particular piece i feel like you could kind of dress this up dress it down absolutely love this it is a gorgeous color and FYI, note to self, I need more orange clothes because that is amazing. So I completely forgot to tell you guys the prices of the last few items that I kind of went through just now, but don't worry, I'll put everything on the screen for you guys and everything will be linked below. But as we're on the topic of amazing dresses, y'all, I envisioned this looking so good and it did not disappoint. I feel like this part, the asymmetrical part, may have been a little too long on me. Um, it doesn't have that much stretch. I saw some people in the reviews saying that you could size down. If you want it really, really, really form-fitting, maybe. But I think getting a size is probably a good bet because it isn't that stretchy. Um, there's a little bit of stretch to it, as you guys could see. But I love this ruching detail on the side. I would just have to try to figure out how to hide this extra string. Um, but I absolutely love how this fits. I love the color. Oh my goodness. Absolutely love, love, love. And while we're here, I would just show you guys the earrings that I bought to go with this dress because I don't have anything this color. And I kind of wanted like the whole look to just come together with this dress. And so I purchased these earrings to go along with it. And it matches absolutely perfectly. And I love these earrings. They're probably like, it has to be less than $5. And they look expensive. <laughs> so I absolutely love that. And I love how well it matches with this. Cannot wait to wear it to style it for you guys on the gram <laughs> so stay tuned for that now i think this is the last dress i have for you guys now i was a little bit disappointed with this dress just because it looked and i'll put what it's supposed to look like what it looked like on the website and you guys will see that this is definitely not the same dress and it, no it's not just washed out by my lighting it looks washed out in person and i really hate that for me <laughs> 
um, I really expected it to be a lot more like bold and bright because I wanted something that would just stand out. Um, it is very flattering though, I will say. I will recommend that you get your size because it is very form-fitting. Um, I don't think if I size down, I would be able to fit into it or breathe. <laughs> so definitely get your size. It makes the bum look amazing. So yeah, if you're part of the little booty committee, then this would actually help you out a little bit or a lot of it, I feel like. And if you're somebody like me who has a little bit of junk in the trunk, it just accentuates it even more. And it looks amazing. And then the extra ruching on the side helps to cover the little belly. Perfect. <laughs> I just wish it was true to color like the website. Now y'all, this, <laughs> I absolutely love this bar suit. I have never, I don't own anything like it. And maybe that's what drew me to it. But I love the top the detail in the top it has two strings to tie around your neck and then one string now how the, the model did it i think they tied it differently so i may i prefer how it looks on the model than how i tied it so i may try to figure out how they did that it does come with pads which you can remove so i will likely remove that um it's a basic bottom black bottom but the skirt is just everything that just elevates this entire look. The ruffle, the high slit. I love everything about this, you guys. Everything about it. So for a three-piece set that looks this amazing. And the quality. And it actually is true to size. Like, the medium actually fit me. That, like, you can't go wrong. So absolutely in love with this purchase hands down i might me <laughs> i may find myself looking into more she and bat suits if this one fits so good now those are all of the casual items that i got related to my trip or just in general because i haven't bought clothes to myself in a long time and so in order to get the um free shipping i think i needed like 20 to spend like 20 something more dollars to get free shipping so i just picked up some wig tops i have been longing to get some wig tops or some stuff to wear to church for a little while so i just picked up these two tops maybe i'm away to church maybe i'm away to work whatever i just kind of paired it with one of my wig pants so you guys could see and it has this kind of i guess dalmatian print it's a kind of olive green mossy green kind of color not sure or sage i don't know what color to call this but it's green with black dots kind of like a dalmatian print the material it is not very see-through but it's a little bit thinner it doesn't feel very i mean you get what you pay for again but it's the material is very very soft it's not super thick so don't expect like really thick high quality blouse material it's not that but it's definitely not see-through or so thin that you it feels like super cheap or anything so yeah similarly i got another blouse it's just a basic black and white and it kind of has like a balloon sleeve a little bit it's a wider sleeve and it kind of tapers down to like an elastic smaller piece at the end it kind of has that balloon vibe now this top was big on me i did get my size which is a medium i feel like if you do purchase this you could definitely afford to size down because it fits very oversized um i mean it's nothing that can't be fixed by you tucking it into a pants or a skirt or whatever but if you plan to wear it outside i would definitely say size down now let's get into the accessories so i wanted to get like a black girl friendly nude shoe um, I didn't, no, this was another disappointment because I expected it based on what it looked like on the website, it looked way more, what's the word, <laughs> it looked way more like chocolate brown, I don't know, it looked way more chocolate brown to me, but it came looking more like a copper color, which I'm not mad at, but I just prefer that it be a chocolate brown so it would have matched my skin complexion better. But I'm still going to make it work. It's still fine. It's very comfortable. It's super flat. Um, almost feels too flat. Like there's no arch 
whatsoever so your foot feels really really flat down on the ground but other than that it's super comfortable i think buying these where the strap is so stretchy is really great especially if you have like broader feet or whatever it could kind of just work either way whatever size you are however broad your foot is or whatever it pretty much kind of guarantee that it'll fit once you get the right length so definitely like i said look at the product product description and uh, measure if you properly and you will get your perfect size now this is another favorite of mine and i didn't think it would be these are these kind of platform shoes and i bought them to go along with the pink um wrap crop top and the pants um and i thought that would have been a really cute outfit because it has the brown the cork brown it has the pink and it has the white and ties kind of ties everything together from the pants um and it is super comfortable because it is a platform all the way across it doesn't feel like a heel so i feel like it'll be super comfortable um and it is very cute as well this is one of my faves from this haul now yeah i really wanted to love this shoe it looks really cute really stylish but it is not comfortable at all it's one of those other shoes that is just super flat down on the ground um, thinking I might want to put like an insole like one of those cushiony Dr. Scholl's or something but then I'm wondering if it will still fit me because it's pretty close and I got the biggest size I have big feet I wear size 9 shoes and I got the biggest size that this shoe came in which was bigger than my regular shoe size and it still feels close so I'm wondering if I put an insole if it would make it even tighter <laughs> but it's not very comfortable at all. Or maybe I could just wear socks. I feel like it just needs padding of some sort. I don't really like to wear socks with shoes that's supposed to be more kind of casual, sporty, but I definitely need some type of cushioning because I feel like my feet are just rubbing against the inside of this thing and it is not comfortable at all. The material is very thin. I wanted to love this probably my biggest regret because this wasn't particularly cheap i think it was like 25 dollars or something but i mean you kind of get what you pay for when it comes to shoes so yeah it was 28 dollars in fact i was probably hoping for more but i mean it was 28 dollars right what was i expecting so not super excited about this i kind of just feel like i wasted my money to be very honest with you guys but I will see how I can make it work. Maybe just for pictures or something. I don't know. So I think I would have showed you guys the four anklets that I got. Um, they're just basic anklets. I love all of the designs on them. I am going to have to try to figure out how to like spray paint or like put nail polish or something on these things because I know they might turn and I want them to last a little bit longer. So I'll try to figure that out but yeah i actually love anklets and so i bought the four pack just because i think that they might turn and so if i get them wet or something and they start turning i could just swap it out for another one so the four pack was just <laughs> super convenient to get i don't think it was expensive either yeah they were two dollars and some cents for four of them so that was pretty cool so yeah my camera cut off and i did not realize i hope you guys caught all of what i said about the anklets so this one when i was trying it on in the try and portion i didn't realize what it was but it's a three layered necklace so it's just supposed to be something you could just rock and have like the layered look i've never tried this before and i've always thought it looked really cool so i'm glad that i got to try it out now so you guys again will see me style all of these items on the gram so be on the lookout for that now that i figured out what the heck it is i like it because <laughs> before i was so confused i was like could i wear this i thought it was broken i thought it came broken so my bad <laughs> if i could get it untangled right so this is another layered chain set and i will show you guys a close-up of it and me wearing it but like I said, this one is more of a elongated one, um, maybe to wear with like the blue, pink and white top because that is such a low cut. Um, and then the rounder one is more so for like the 
body, gray bodysuit that has more of a rounded neck. It kind of fit better with our silhouette. So I just kind of bought two different styles, one for more plunging neckline and one for a more scoop neckline. So yeah, those were the two layered necklaces that I got. I also got a pair of earrings and y'all, you know, I did not realize how small these things were. I think it was like a dollar, so I really should not be surprised, but they are super tiny. I will show you guys a little bit of a closer up image of what it looks like, but I mean, it's just a simple earring. Like I said, once I figure out how to get it to last longer, maybe spray painting it or using nail polish or whatever, maybe this could be my new, my new go-to work earring because I generally do tend to like switch up earrings like that. I just prefer to have something really simple that I could just leave in and kind of forget about. So I think this might be my new work earring until I find something else. So yeah, I hope you guys like the items that I picked out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you follow me on Instagram so you can see me style all of these looks because they're coming, <laughs> coming for your head top. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think I heard a Jamaican say it before. I have no idea what that means. In disregard anything I just said if it's disrespectful. But um, yeah, <laughs> follow me on Instagram just to see me put together all of these looks. Comment below and let me know which one of the items that I picked out was your favorite. Did you like any of them? Did you not like any of them? <laughs> Tell me what your experience has been shopping with Shein if you've ever shopped with them before. Definitely follow me on Instagram so you could see when the photos for all of these looks drop <laughs> because I am going to be trying to step out of my comfort zone and do more like body shots and you know that kind of stuff you're only young ones and let me take advantage of the body that i got now <laughs> so um that is it that brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys if you've gotten to this point that you have already subscribed hit that notification bell commented shared all that good stuff if you've gotten to this point in the video and you are not yet subscribed though so so sir after all of this, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I hope you guys would hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the very next video. Don't forget to nourish your mind, body, and spirits. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Take care, guys. Bye.